what is up guys so we're going to be starting a little bit of farming this morning uh i can dress the way that i want my dude i want him like that so first i'm gonna sell my truck and get a new truck better truck because that truck is a piece of junk I can already tell. But first, I'm going to buy this piece of land. I want this piece of land. I want field 2. If y'all can see that. I want field 2 so bad. And that's the one that's on now. I want it so bad. So now, I'm going to do this watch. I'm going to go borrow some money. I mean, I know that's terrible, but... I think it was like three, four or something. All right, I got four ninety-five. Now I'm gonna go find it. So this is gonna say loading map. Okay, so it's four hundred thirty-two. I'm gonna buy four hundred thirty-two as that cost. There we go. I got my land purchase. There we go. So we're good. Alright. So now, I'm going to buy <coughs> an F-350. This is the F-350 I want. It's a good old truck. It, haul it hauls a lot. It's, it's a super duty. Um, I'm going to get a like a gooseneck fifth wheel but it also comes with the one, the one at the bottom all right so then i'm gonna get this truck probably need to get a track like a good track because i don't know if it could hold it could hold what i'm about to do okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a 20 foot gooseneck. Y'all are going to see what I'm about to do. So I'm going to back that on there. Attach. Alright, so next I'm going to get a four wheeler. Not a four wheeler, a uh, fork wheeler. Alright, I got me a fork wheeler. Then I'm going to buy some liquid fertilizer. Pallets. I'm probably about to get two of them just to be on the, the good side. Because I'm... Alright, then I'm going to load this stuff up. Y'all about to say, holy cow, what the heck is he doing? Y'all see me say. So, I don't care how I load these up. Let's just go with two, two pallets are going. Two totes, actually. Those aren't pallets. So, there, there's one on. I might stack the other one on top of that one. If it can get up there. I feel sure it can. I hope. Because I need room for the fort with this, too. Be a close call, but guess what? It fits. Watch. All right. I'm about to say, dang, he's an expert. I am an expert at Fort Lee. Mm, probably not this. Hi. So then I'm gonna go to the truck. I'm gonna raise the bed down back there. And then I'm gonna put the forklift on there. I'm gonna back it on. Cause y'all see why it'll 
the forks will probably hit the pallet or the boat. <gasps> there we go. I get scared when I mess up, so that's why I made that noise. So just strap it down, and we're good. Strap the portless down. Okay. So we're not done yet. That we're just getting started. So right here is all my mods I have. I have a 20 foot gooseneck trailer pack, and I start a little bit of forestry a little bit. So I have a 669 buncher. I have American farmland, of course. I have a, a brush cutter. It's just a weed eater. I have a case. It's like a um comes with like fertilizer spreader. It's like a thing you put on the back, and then like a sprayer. And then it's the same thing. And then I have a sprayer. I have a John Deere 948L. Then I have a John Deere. Seven eight oh eighty seven sixty and I have a John Deere six M and a John Deere fifty G then a John Deere seven forty three seventy loader then a John Deere forty three twenty then a J C B Beto loader John Deere ninety five 959M um, tree cutter. And then a John Deere HX20 uh, bat wing cutter. Then I have a forklift. Then I have an excavator. Then I have a Lizard 20, uh, 225DU trailer. It's a, like a dump, like a back of the trailer. Um, you could put like rocks and dirt and all that. And then I have another Lizard lizard to um excavator then i have a lizard big turtle saddle tank those are things you can put <coughs> on the side of your tractors then i have a pole trailer for your long poles for trees then i have a camper fancy then i have a mower for skid steer loaders then I have a Mac Superliner X. Then I have a Lizard TX415. Then that's that. That's the uh, S350. Now this right here is a Lizard Circular Pivot Irrigation. They just came out with that last week or this week. And that's what that's what I'm be working with today, and trying that out. Then I have a it's like a a uh, mod with tractors and stuff and like sprayers and um, slurry tank. Then I have a wood crane. Then I have a zero turn mower. All right. So I'm going to get this. That's all the mods I have. It's not that much if you actually look at it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this. I'm going to get this. And then I'm going to get a tractor. Because I don't... I want all my tractors to stay at my farm. I'm going to get a case just to work. Just worth it. We'll set up. We're going to go. I'm going to go with extra duels. Not extra duels, but. Ex, yeah, well, extra duels look like this. Huh? We'll set up. I'm going to go like this. Can I not zoom? Oh, there we go. Like extra duels for the back. Like that. So that's how I want my tractors. Some of them like them different. 
which it really doesn't matter. It's just a tractor. You can do extra duels in the front too if you like. Alright, so I'm going to hook this up. We're good. So watch this. I'm going to take the truck first. So I got to go pretty, not pretty long way, but you know. So there's a road down here I got to turn at. <coughs> it's right there. Just coming up. So I'm going to turn here. I had to get rid of my map so I could actually see my turn. And then I'm going to book it. I'm going to book it down to the field. My field. Pretty cotton. I think some people are already planting cotton. I know that all, I know plenty of people, plenty of farmers right now are planting corn. Corn's already popping up. And it's got to be two or three weeks off the ground, or planted. Then I'm going to go this way. Then I'm just going to take this road around. Y'all get to see what my field actually looks like. Like, what it looks like. And I'll show you when I get there. Okay, so I'm almost here. This is my field right here. I do not remember this being there, but this is what I bought. It's, uh, it's some sorghum, sorghum, and so I'll cut that with a, a bean or wheat header. Alright, so I'm here waiting. I'm going to grab this now, the tractor. Then I'm going to take it down there. And then I'm going to fill it up with fertilizer. Then I'm going to move the truck and trailer. And then I'm going to... And then I will unfold this, and then you'll see it unfold, hopefully. And then just put it on and do it. And then I got to go back to my farm, and then we got to cut my wheat. And then do some more stuff. <coughs> <coughs> um, well, I have to cultivate that one field I have. Oh, gosh. I have to cultivate that one field I have and then replant it with weed or cotton or beans or corn or whatever. It's up to me. I don't know. Probably plant some late corn. Early cotton. So, like I said, I'm just going around and finding, like, trying to get in my field. That field needs cultivating. But guess who ain't gonna do it? Because I got stuff I got to do to help. But I can help farmers out to make money. But I don't know how good it go. it go to go. Alright, so now we are filling the two totes in the front. They are good. So guess what? We are going to move the trailer and truck. We're going to back it up a little bit. I know you're like, that's too far. Stop. No. It's actually, you got to go pretty far because you don't know how far you're your um, irrigation system is going to be. See, that's, that's what's up. It gets stuck. So now I have to restart. And I don't know what to do. Like, it's aggravating me. So, I guess I'm going to have to go back to the store. 
and get a new irrigation system. See, that's what sucks about, oh god, y'all didn't see that, but that's what sucks about this irrigation system. I might as well go ahead and, and, uh, go ahead and fold it, or unfold it, and then just let it go out, and then put stuff in there first, because that's just straight messed up. And it not, like, I don't know. But I'm on the way to grab it, and then I'm going to come back and then fill it up. And then hopefully it not be stuck in an unfold. Let me see what way I'm supposed to go, because I'm, I'm kind of new to this map. I'm hanging right, right here. See, look, that's pretty simple. Because I'll just go take, put my field right there and then just take that little shortcut. And look, I'm already here. I'm already at the shop. Well, at the store. I don't know why I call it a shop. Now I'm going to back it up. Let it unhook. Then I'm going to go that same route we did. Like we did, we were going. Lord, I hope it works this time. Cross my fingers. Cause I'm just trying to put some fertilizer on my on my crop. That's it. That's all I want. But sometimes the stuff <coughs> that I that I want to plant and like I can't plant until like if I wanted to plant corn I can't plant corn because it's not because I'm in August and I'm not in May. I mean I did cut the seasonal something seasonal planting whatever it was called. I cut that off, so now I think I can plant corn if I wanted to, out after I put my other field. So, we're looking at it again. I'm going to go. I see why. Now I gotta do it again. You know why it's doing that? It's because I have to put unfold it first and then put the stuff in there. So now I got to go grab some more. So now I got to go again, which, which okay, I get it, it, once I put it in there, it locks, and I can't go nowhere, because the stuff's already in it. Alright, this will be my sixth, sixth trip, all the way back to the shop, like, going and coming, going and coming, going and coming. That's a lot of gas. That's a lot of gas burnt. Right there. But hey, I got I got it now. I got it. I know y'all probably like, well, you're just wasting half your time. Like, just wasting. It. Just wasting. It. I do. I did forget to cut my beans on why I am. You see that stuff that. Flashing. You're supposed to have those on when you are driving on a highway or a dirt road because cars will 
try to get you. I'm gonna cut my lights off. I don't know why I had those on. I might cut the front off. Because it's getting real. It's 9.38 in the morning. Alright. So let's go. So now I gotta bring the truck back and get some more fertilizer. Like I said, I'll probably get two totes and stack them up on each other. So what I'm going to do when I get there is go ahead and unfold this and then go from there and hopefully it works. But whoever, if it doesn't work, whoever made the irrigation system, they messed up. I mean, I understand it's like a day or so, day or two out. And I know a bunch of people that's probably got it already going go like all right so i'm fixing to pass the truck but i got to get more fertilizer or i could do herbicide too but i'd have to do that then it's gonna flash because look watch this boom There you go. Alright. So we're good there. We uncovered it. We got it going. That's how it looks. So now I'm going to jump in the truck and go grab some fertilizer. Y'all, I'm ready. I'm ready to get this fertilizer in there. So now, if y'all hear that noise, it's just the, it's the robot cleaning the hallway. Alright, so slow down a little bit and book it around the corner. And I love this truck. It's because it's just a one cab <laughs> and it goes 150 miles it goes 150 miles per hour if you really want to go somewhere there you go but I, I i hit like 60 or 70 maybe sometimes i'll hit 90 if i don't catch myself all right so i'm about to be at the end of the road i'm stopping then I'm going to turn right and go down to the store. And I got to buy two totes of fertilizer. I'm going to turn him around where he will face the store or face the direction we're going. We're going to go. Or I'm wanting them to go. So I'm going to get these straps. I'm going to unstrap it. And I'm going to pull it up. And get the fort, fort lift down first. Alright. So now we're going to go to totes. Go to pallets. Go to liquid fertilizer. We're going to buy one. And buy another one. There we go. So now we're going to tilt it down. Not tilt it down, but pull it down. And then we're going, if it doesn't go through, there it goes. I was about to say, if it doesn't go through, then, then I r rise it up. Rise it, rise it up. Right. Then I'm going to pull it under the trailer. There 
There we go. We're making progress. And hopefully don't hit that car. That works there, I guess. I guess that worked there. I don't know. Tilt it. Ah, it's getting stuck. I got it unstuck. There we go. Now we're going to pull it up. All the way. I'm glad I'm in that group. I'm in this group on Facebook. I know. And, uh, they show all different mods and people working on their farms and, you know, like that. And, and if they have issues like, like I just did with the, irrigation system they'll tell the group to see if the group's having any problems all right so that's a big load no nah, it's not a big load but it's a okay load. so i'm gonna jump in the truck fold it there we go now we're gonna go to the field I know my wheat's almost dead, I bet. Cause I ain't cut it yet. But I don't know why. Alright, let's go. Play a little bit of country music right quick. I don't like it too loud because Like, if I'm by myself, but if I'm filming, no, it's too loud. So, I just turned the corner to the left, that little curve, then I got to turn a right little curve, and then I just got to go straight, and then I'll be there in a second or two. Alright, I just turned the right curve. Now we're going to go to either the end and give it to the So I'm gonna, I'm gonna move that tractor. I think I unhooked it. Yeah, I unhooked it, so I'm gonna pull it forward. So the truck can get there and get them. Don't fill up, <coughs> <coughs> and then I'll drop. <coughs> I'll drop, drop down the one. Mm, that don't look right. It's in the air. But anyway, watch this. Turn on spray.
they can't stay on like a regular irrigation system. All right, let me move this truck. I know y'all. I know you're like, why is he running in the woods? Because of this piece of junk won't turn around. Which is pissed. There we go. And then what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get in this tractor, that cage tractor. Then I'm gonna hook it up. Then I'm gonna move it. Well, apparently I can't move it, but it's alright. We're good. Now I'm gonna let it run for a few minutes. Alright, so now, I'm going to let it run for just like, two more minutes. I got a lot of stuff I got to do today. I got to cut the grass. I do it about every weekend, so. Um, then I got to... I, I weeded a little bit yesterday. So we should be good there. Alright. So we're good here. I'm going to get a new combine. I think. No, probably not. Let me look. What's the, what's the purpose you got one right here? Okay. I might just hire this worker to do this too. Got me a little bit of belt system back here. I hate messing with that belt system. Now I gotta cut all that wheat. That wheat looks pretty. Alright, I got it hooked up. We're good. Then it's cutting itself because I don't want to cut it. I might go run that irrigation system a little bit. I know what's going on the grass. Maybe the grass will grow a little bit. <coughs> um, it's really much it. I wish they had crop dust and airplanes we could do, but they said we can't do it because of the height and swooping back down and, but hey, at least they made irrigation system. I ain't complaining.
it's already a little more flawed in the game. But I might call it a day and go cut the grass right quick. Oh man, I'll, I'll, I'll do another video pretty soon, I hope, like, I'm be cutting grass or something, I don't know. I hope y'all enjoy, don't forget to smash that like button, smash the subscribe button, leave me a comment if you want, I don't, it's up y'all, but I hope y'all enjoy, peace.